Good morning and welcome to all for the family with evangelist Moya Antonia. Amen. God is good all the time. We bless God for keeping us alive to see this day which he has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. The church of victory and rejoicing are ahead all the time with the tent of the righteous. Today we bless our God for keeping us alive. He has a purpose for us. Everything we do today should be according to the will of God. Let us always remember that God created us to give him pleasure. May we give him pleasure through our deeds today in the name of Jesus. Amen. God has given each of us a measure of faith. Today let us make up our mind that we are going to add actions to our faith. Good things wherever we go. Jesus Christ showed us how to live, how to walk with God, how to obey God in flesh and blood. Today we are open to able to obey God because we have the Spirit of God dwelling in us. That's where we enable us to do the things we do today in the name of Jesus. Our God has not left us in this world to be ignorant without knowledge of His will. We thank God that today the Spirit of God will continue to reveal the will of God to us. That same Spirit will lead us on the righteous path that God has laid for each one of us. Amen. Today we are standing on a solid foundation on Christ our Lord and Savior, through whom we can do all things. Through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, today we are able to come before God the Father, to call Him our Father. He is our Father. He has given us everything. Amen. Nothing can stand against us and our families today. Wherever the enemy is gathered against us today, let us know that God has already, give, or has already given us the victory over every evil that we ever stand against us today in the name of Jesus. Today our hands are lifted up before our God this morning to bless him, to thank him for being our God, to exalt his only name, his God and God alone. There's no other God as him. Father, we bless you. We thank you for this day. We thank you for being our Father, for being our helper, for being our shield and buckler. We bless you, Father God, for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that today we can come before you to call you our God. Father, you have anointed our heads to oil, our cups are overflowing. This morning, O Lord God, you have set tables before us in the presence of our enemies. We bless you, God, because we have woken up to a feast this day. We say the praise in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, O Lord God, for loving us the way you do. Thank you for your Holy Spirit that dwells in us and walks in us and shows us to accomplish your will in this world. To accomplish your will in this world. Father, we thank you. We pray that everywhere we go today that your Spirit will lead us in the name of Jesus. We hold back the hands of the evil one, Father Lord. We put a stop, O Lord God, to the activities this day. Father Lord, we know that with you, we are able to overcome every fiery darts of the wicked and will be trust against us. This day we send them back in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is our helper. What can man do against us? What can spirits do against us? Wherever they are gathered, Lord God, they are scattered in the name of Jesus. Our Lord God Almighty, we acknowledge that you are God and God alone. There is no other God as today. As we come before you this morning, we repent of all our sins in ways we have fallen short of your glory. We plead the blood of Jesus, we ask for mercy. Father, we thank you that you have forgiven us of all our sins. As you have forgiven us, we pray that you help us to forgive as many that have sinned against us in the name of Jesus. Father, have your way in our lives. We submit everything about us and our families to you, O oh Lord God, our living Father, our God that can never fail us. So, Father, we pray as we go into the study of your word this day. Let us pray to direct us, lead us, open our eyes, O Lord God, to take out from our passage everything that we need to become better people for you and for our communities in the name of Jesus. Renew our minds, O Lord God. Father Lord, we pray that none of us we had in our hearts in case today and when we hear the voice of the Spirit. Father, have your way in our lives. Give us a word, O Lord God, that will bring healing to those that are sick. A word that will bring encouragement to those that are discouraged. In word of Lord God and give us strength in our weakness today in the name of Jesus. May your grace avail for us in all our situations today in Jesus' mighty name. You are God and God alone. We seek all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for being our Father. Thank you, God, that we can come before you this morning to call you our God. We bless you. We seek all the praise today in Jesus' mighty and precious name. We have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good all the time. If God has been good to you, testify by the goodness of God to the people around you. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. It is the word of God that we hear. 
that helps us to build that faith that God has given to us. We, all, we already have a measure of faith ish, but we, con- we have to continually feed on the word of God so that our faith will continue to grow. We have to have action to our faith to produce good results in our communities. Faith without good works is dead. May we not just say we have faith and we have nothing to show for our faith in the name of Jesus. If we have faith, we go out to begin to proclaim the goodness of God to the world around us. We show the people around us the love of God. We be considerate of the people around us. God, we have the first place in our lives. Amen. We allow the Spirit of God to lead us in everything that we do. Today, there are things to be done in our communities, our communities, in our families, wherever we go today. Let us pray that God give us the ability to solve problems, to help people, to live, to be at peace with the people around us, to show the people around us this love in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are the children of God, the Spirit of God dwells in us. Let that Spirit of God address in us, be shown to the world around us, that the world will see the light of God in us, and they will glorify our Father who is in heaven. The Word of God says, let our deeds so shine before the world, our good deeds before the world, that People will see the goodness of God in us. We see our good works and begin to glorify God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let our lights, let our lights so shine before the world that men will see our good deeds and begin to glorify our Father in the name of Jesus. Today we pray that the light that God has put in our lives will continue to shine. Amen. Our light is in us. No one can make that light to dim. That light has to give light to everywhere around us. For no one lights a lamp and sit under a tree. You put it on the lamp stand so that the lights will radiate and reflect around the entire room, the entire atmosphere to brighten the life of people, to brighten our lives so that people will see God in us in Jesus' mighty and precious name. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God we have reason to, to rejoice every day we are alive. We will realize that we did not wake up our own efforts, but God woke us up. Glory, hallelujah, amen. That we are able to stand up from our beds through the inspiration of the Spirit of God to begin to do the things that we do each day. We bless God, we lift Him on high, we say, Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you in the name of Jesus. That we are still alive, this is a beautiful day you have given to us. This day we will glorify you, we will show you to the world around us. This day, everything we do for that Lord, you take the first place in our lives in the name of Jesus. We bless you, our God. Receive the praise this day. We have no other God but you. We thank you, God, because we know you have fought many battles on our behalf. Battles that we are aware of, those that we do not even know. Father, we say thank you in the name of Jesus. As we went about our, about our businesses where the enemy has stood against us, lifting up their hands that they will bring us down. Father, Lord, you brought them down in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you, for you are the glory and the lift up of our heads, you are our helper. We thank you, Lord God, for everything you do for us today, in the name of Jesus. We bless you for our children, we thank you, Lord God, for our communities. We bless you, Lord God, for the government, Father, Lord, we pray, Lord God, that our government will be attentive to the voice of the Spirit, that they will surrender to you in everything they do, in the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of corruption. We ask that the spirit of God will lead us in everything we do in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We thank you, our living God. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have worship. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good all the time. If God has been good to you, testify about his goodness to the people of God, to the people around you in the name of Jesus. Amen. This morning, I want us to read verses 1 to seven of Psalm 89. Then we we'll go on to the reading of First Peter chapter 1. We we'll finish chapter 1 this morning. In Jesus' mighty name. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 89. Psalm 89. I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth I will make your faithfulness known through all generations. I will declare that your love stands firm forever, that you establish your faithfulness in heaven itself. You said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant, I will establish your line forever and make your throne firm from all generations. 
The heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness too in the assembly of the holy ones. For who is in the skies above can compare with the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the heavenly beings? In the council of the holy ones, God is greatly feared. He is more awesome than all who surround him. I will take verse 8 also. O Lord God Almighty, who is like you? You are mighty, O Lord, and your faithfulness surrounds you. Glory, hallelujah, amen. Who is like our God? There is no other God as him. In the assemblies of the God, he is also his glory to be praised. is fear among the gods. Glory, hallelujah, amen. That's the God we have. The sounds of the mighty oceans are subject under the authority of our God. The wind, as powerful as we know the wind to be, the wind is subject to the authority of our God. He steals the wind, he calms the ocean, he keeps us safe, he's above everything he created. And that's why man must not worship those things that God created, but we should worship the true God, the one God, one and one holy and true God, our God Jehovah, our everlasting God, our Father who created us in the name of Jesus, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who has made us his own children, the first fruits of those that inherit God's kingdom, that are saved, that have been redeemed by God. God who loves us so much. God who has given us everything in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's the God who must worship who will praise. Who will sing of his great love to us, of everything he has given to us through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That we are sinners being God sent his son to die for us. The God that loves us and said that nothing can separate us from his love. God loves us so much. Why won't you sing of his praises? Of his great name from one generation to the other. Why won't you tell our children about this God, about the things he has done for us? Why won't you listen to our God to take out this gospel of salvation to the nations, to begin to proclaim the goodness of God to the people around us, that more souls will be brought into the kingdom? That's the God we have come to today. The God who has delivered us from great waters, deep waters. The God who lifts up our lifts up our heads every day is the glory and the lift up of our heads. He has provided our needs this day. He has fought battles on our behalf that we are not even aware of, that we did not even know about. He has done great things for us. Today, let us lift up our hands to say, Father, you are God. Today, we sing of your goodness. We will proclaim your name in the nations to tell everyone around us about your faithfulness, that you are God alone. That God alone, there is no other God as me. Today you put a new song in our mouths, a song of praise unto you. You have flooded us with benefits this day. You have forgiven us of all our previous sins, O Lord God. Even the sins that we have committed, even right now as we come before you, we offer ourselves and say, Father, have mercy. You are Father of all compassion, God of all mercy. You forgive us of all our sins, O Lord God. You provide all our needs every day. You have given us our families and friends and everything we have. This day we have come before you with hearts that are filled with thanksgiving. Hearts that appreciate you for the things you have done for us. We say thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. We are filled with rejoicing this day. We have seen your goodness in the land of the living. We have seen your faithfulness everywhere we go, Father Lord. We are surrounded, O Lord God, by your holy presence, O Lord God. There is no God as thee. We lift your high this day. We thank you. We bless you, O Lord. We thank you, O Lord. You have put a new song in our mouths today, Lord. A song of praise unto you. You are God alone, Lord, God alone, Lord, God alone. Lord. We bless you, we bless you, Father, for the great things you've done for us. We have no other God as thee, that God alone. Lord. Unto you we return all the praise of God, faithful Father. We thank you, our God. This day you have set things before us. You have anointed our heads with holy. Father, we say thank you for everything you've done for us. 
you put the song of praise in our mouths. Father Lord, we say thank you in the name of Jesus. We bless you, our God. We lift you on high. Yes, our God has been. We see the praise. We thank you, our God. We see the glory for the Lord. For everything you've done for us. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. Our God puts a song in our mouths every day. A song of praise unto him. Let us sing to our God today and bless him for being our Father. Father, we bless you. We thank you. From the rising of the sun to the place it set, your name is worthy to be praised. You are God alone. Receive all the praise, O oh Lord God. You have been so good to us. Thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, in Jesus' mighty name we have worship. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good all the time. As we come before God today, let us sing a song to him. Let us bless him. Thank him for being our God in Jesus' mighty name. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. At this time, we are going to read from the book of Peter, chapter 1. They are going to complete chapter 1, beginning from verse 22 to the end of chapter 1 this morning. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. We've learned from First Peter that we are strangers in this world. We are pilgrims passing through this world. That when we pass through trials and temptations, our faith has been tried. We have to rejoice and thank God that at the end of everything, we are going to come out to be the people that God wants us to be. We read about this also in the book of James, that when we pass through different temptations in this world, let us rejoice. Amen. God has given us everything in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, through whom we can overcome. Amen. So our trials will produce a good result in us. We have to be patient and wait on God. Let us wait on God in everything. In the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God has called us unto a holy life. There's no other way through which we can have any relationship with God except we are holy. Amen. And we have the Spirit of God that can help us to live that holy life unto which God has called us. Amen. From 1 Peter uh, verse, chapter 1, verse 14, we read, For it is written, Be holy because I am holy. Our God is holy. There's no other standard through which we can have any relationship with God, any meaningful relationship with God. Except we are only unto God. It's not something that we can question. We just have to surrender and self submit ourselves to God. It's not through our own effort that we can become holy or righteous. It's not through our own effort that we can have anything to do with God. Anything that God has called us to do in this world, He has given us the ability to do it. We have the Spirit of God inside of us. But we have to make up our mind that we want to walk with God. We surrender ourselves to the Spirit of God. Let the Spirit of God help us, train us up in godly living. Amen. And through the will of God, everything will work out in our lives as God wants it to be in the name of Jesus, to be according to the will of God for each one of us. But we have to make up our minds that we truly want to walk with God, that we are ready to surrender ourselves to the Spirit of God to help us to live that life that God has called us to live in the name of Jesus. Each of us must be ready to draw near to God. When we draw near to God, God will draw near to us in the name of Jesus. We have to make our minds to do that. God has already shown us his love. We are seen when Jesus Christ died for us. He has given us a free way. Each of us must make up our minds that truly we want God, we want to draw near to God, to receive that grace that God has given to us, to receive the salvation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to allow God to instruct us on that righteous path on which we sinners should walk on. If we do that, then we'll see the hands of God in our lives, helping us every day to overcome every temptation and trial that we pass through. That instead of grumbling, we are in those situations, we begin to praise God. We begin to wait on the Spirit of God to reveal to us the will of God concerning us, even in those difficult situations that we find ourselves in. Amen. That we should rejoice, rejoice. Use our mouths to praise God. Use our mouths to create the atmosphere we need in our families, in our communities, in the name of Jesus. Here we have faith and polish out of the glory of God. Let us ask God to forgive us. We come out to God and we ask for mercy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Matthew, First Peter chapter 1, verse 22. Now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth, so that 
you have sincere love for your brothers. Love one another deeply from the heart. For you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and enduring word of God. For all men are like grass, and all their glory is like the flower, flowers of the field. The grass withers, and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord stands forever. And this is the word that was preached to you. Glory, hallelujah, amen. That now that we have been purified by obeying the truth, the word of God that we have received, now that the Spirit of God dwells inside of us, and that Spirit of God is renewing our minds every day, now that our souls have been saved, and we say we are the children of God, and that Spirit of truth lives inside of us, that we should live a life that is worthy of our calling by loving, sincerely loving our brothers and sisters. None of us can say we love God if we do not love our brothers and sisters, the people we see every day. Yet there is an offense we must forgive. God has shown us mercy. Anyone that cannot forgive their brothers and sisters, judgment without mercy will be shown to that person. It's according to the will of God. We have been purified, purified by the working of the Spirit of God inside of us. Amen. Not through our own effort. As soon as we are accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, the Spirit of God dwells inside of us. God gives us that power to become His children. That power to say no to ungodly living. Every day we have been trained for, for righteousness, to live according to the will of God. We have been trained to become godly in everything because we must have the same mindset that is in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's according to the will of God for each one of us. Amen. Let us continue to obey the truth that has been entrusted to us. Let us allow the Spirit of God to continue to refine us, renew our minds and to help us. That anything that is in us that is not of God should be forged out from us. So that in everything we begin to live that righteous life that God has called us unto, that holy life that God has called us unto. Our God is holy, we must be holy unto Him. We must love, love. It is love that made God to send Jesus Christ to die for us. God created us because God loves us. And He said, Nothing can separate us from that love. May our sins not separate us. May our hardened hearts against the will of God not separate us from the love of God. God said we must love one another. Begin to love one another. She said, Love for your brothers. Love one another deeply. Deeply. Amen. If anyone has forgiven us, we must. If anyone has offended us, we must forgive the person. Because love does not hold an account of any evil. Love forgives, it is pure. And that's the way God wants us to love. The Spirit of God will continue to help us in the name of Jesus. That we should love one another deeply from the heart. Love every, not from your mouth, but from your heart. Truly love sincerely from within, deeply. For you have been born again, not of perishable seed. We have been born not of perishable seed, of corrupted seed, seed of sin. Amen. We have been born of imperishable seed. Amen through the living word of God that we have received the grace of God that came through Jesus Christ. We have received a new life. We are new creatures in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We've been born again. We are not the old people we used to be. So those things we used to do, do in the past, we can no longer do them if the Spirit of God dwells inside of us. Let us remind ourselves of who we are and what God has done for us at this time. What we have inside of us that we are not born of God perishable seeds but of imperishable seed in them and this imperishable seed was implanted in us through the living and enduring word of god the imperishable seed came through the living and enduring word of god that dwells inside of us god has circumcised our consciousness inside of us we don't have a conscience that is feeling against it's conscious that is struggling within us because the spirit of god dwells inside of us amen the circumcision was done inwardly, not an outward show that was done outside in the first skin, but inside God's word is really inside of our hearts. We, we allow God to instruct us in the righteous path He wants us to walk on. Amen. We allow God to come inside of us. We have to surrender ourselves to God. We have been born not of perishable seed, but imperishable seed through the living and enduring word of God that dwells inside of each one of us in the name of Jesus. That's the truth we have. 
let us hold on to the truth that is purifying us every day. We are being refined every day. Our minds are being renewed every day. The steadfast love of our God will never fail. His mercy will never come to an end. We are renewed every morning. This morning we have been refreshed. The goodness and mercy of God is following us wherever we go. In the name of Jesus. God is going to help us. We have to give ourselves totally to God as a father of God. Yes. You have said we should love our brothers and sisters deeply from our hearts. Help us. Because we know that if we cannot love the people around us, we cannot have any relationship with you. May your will be done in our lives. It's to that surrender to the will of God. Let me just bow and say, Father, have your way in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For all men are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall. But the word of the Lord stands forever. That all men are like grass, our beauty, the splendor, everything you see about us. Just as the flower comes in springtime, beautiful, blossoms, and the weather changes, moves to fall, then for fall, the winter comes, the flower falls off and just dies. You see that beauty fading away. That's the way our lives are. That's the way we are. So in all our pride, holding on to one possession, we are not, we are not saved by silver and gold, pursuing the wrong things. And being proud in ourselves and forgetting that God has given us everything. That we should remember that we are like grass. We pass away. Our time is splitting in this world. We are not going to be here forever. Let us humble ourselves before God. And let that word that has been given to us, the imperishable word of God, that has purified us, that we have been born, we have been born again by that imperishable word, not the perishable word that could not deliver us from anything. Let us hold on to that truth and begin to live according to the will of God. On my says before God, God will resist, God resists the proud every time. He's annoyed with the proud person. Amen. As we come before God, let us on our says, say, Father Lord, all we have comes from you. We have nothing without you. We can be nothing without you. We thank you for the living word you have given to us. You have said that we should love one another deeply from our hearts. May we be obedient to your will in the name of Jesus. Because every time we pass away, what we remain is the living word of God, the living and enduring word of God that will last forever. That word that has given us salvation, that has given us an interest into God's kingdom because we have received it. And that's how we should go out to the world to begin to proclaim the goodness of God to our brothers and sisters so that more people will receive the word. Our focus in this world is not on pursuits of material things that will not last. That will pass away, just like our beauty or everything we have, or like our lives, they are like grass. Let us pursue the word of God, the living and enduring word of God that gives salvation to men. Let us take it out and begin to proclaim it to the people, proclaim the word to the people around us, so that more people will receive the salvation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory, hallelujah, amen. That all men are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass sweetens and the flowers fall. But the word of the Lord stands forever. The word of God stands forever. The salvation of God will stand forever. The truth will stand forever. The imperishable sin of God that has given us life, that is living and enjoying, will stand forever. And that is what gives us an entrance into God's kingdom. We will pursue the word of God. We will feed on it every day. We will meditate on it and be doers of the word of God, not just here as alone. Because if we are hearing the word of God and we are not showing the love of God to the world around us, we are deceiving ourselves. We are like that man that looks in the mirror, sees himself, and as soon as he turns his, his face away from the mirror, he does not remember even how he looks. He forgets himself. But one who looks into the perfect law that gives life and continues there on, amen, that gives freedom, continues there on. That person will be blessed in one dream. That person will receive eternal life. That person will live according to the will of God. And the promise of God will be made manifest in that person's life because we continue to walk with God. You are not just a year, but a doer of the word in the name of Jesus. May all of us aspire to be doers of God's word. Those that will obey him and take this message to the nations in the name of Jesus. Amen. And this is the word that was preached to you. The word of God that stands forever is the word that was preached to us. It is the word that has purified us because we, we, are, we are obedient to the truth of God, the word. We are holding on to it, we are pursuing it. 
as long as we continue to remain in the rightful position that God has placed each one of us, that word will abide in us. It will be living. That word it will be a living word in us. That word will rekindle our hope that every day we we'll wake up. The first thing we want to do is to give God pleasure and to do the will of God in the name of Jesus. Around us, we show the love of God to the world around us in the name of Jesus. The word of God will never fail. It will endure forever. We will pass on. Amen. But that word will remain forever. When we die, that word, God will fulfill his promise to us that we will not remain in the grave forever. As God exerted that supreme power in Jesus Christ and he raised him from the dead, God will exert that same power in us in the name of Jesus. Let us hold on to the hope we have and bless God for being our God that we are the ones representing in this world that we show his goodness to the world around us. We are the ones we always see today. If there's anything in us that is making us feel to doubt God and not to live the life that God has called us to live, let us lift up our hands and ask God to help us, to deliver us from everything, to push us from within. Father, we pray against the spirit of unbelief. We have come before you this day. We believe that your word, Father Lord, is living and enjoying forever. That your word is purifying us every day to do your will and to train us up, O Lord God, in godly living. Jehovah, we come against every force of darkness, everything, O Lord God, that is trying to derail us from following you. Jehovah, we surrender ourselves to you this day. May your will be done in our lives and in the lives of every member of our family here on earth as it is in heaven. Have your way in our lives. You are our God. We bless you this day. We lift up our hands to say, Father, thank you. Thank you for the living word. Thank you, God. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good all the time. We bless this day. God loves you. We love you too. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen.